Spectrum is live in Wilmington, where the chase came to that dramatic ending. Chris. Pat and Jeff, that suspect came here to Wilmington because that's where his mother lives, and police believe that he wanted to drop his kids off with their grandmother. As for the actual chase, it ended right behind me. You can see these row of cars, but the man was actually arrested around the corner. It was an hours long pursuit that started in the Morongo Basin and ended in this Wilmington neighborhood. We were overhead when the driver of this SUV pulled over right in front of this apartment complex. People were already running toward the SUV before he came to a stop. They pulled a child and a baby out of the vehicle. The driver, police tell us, he's the father of the children. Then he got out of the SUV and started running away. CHP officer Simon Yarbrough. So he came to this location to drop his children off. He dropped the children off safely with the grandmother. They were both uninjured. Um, and then he got out the vehicle and, and um, proceeded to run. Officers started to chase him on foot. At one point, one of them ran into a tree. The suspect then ran into an alley, came back out a few seconds later, and was eventually tackled in the street by police. That's when one of our viewers alerted us to this. You could see the person who pulled the car seat out of the SUV sit down, pull something out of the car seat, and hide it in some bushes. We were there when officers searched the bag. Yeah, it was just a plastic bag with clothing on it. The suspect was taken to the hospital. As for his kids, thankfully, they were not injured. And the reason the suspect was taken to a hospital was as a precaution. As for his name, authorities are not releasing it yet since this case is still under investigation. Reporting live from Wilmington, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News.